In this video, I'd like to share my thoughts and opinions about a roller coaster in Kentucky whose backstory is as interesting as the ride experience itself. And we're starting right now with the next episode of A Tommy's Perspective. <laughs> Howdy everybody, this is David from the Coaster Scouts, and I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of A Tall Man's Perspective, where I share my thoughts and opinions about roller coasters across the United States and the world. Today's roller coaster of interest is Beach Bend's Kentucky Rumbler. Kentucky Rumbler is an interesting GCI roller coaster, mainly because of the interesting backstory and the origins of how this roller coaster was built. For those who are unfamiliar about this story, the owners of Beach Bend Amusement Park, Dallas and Alfredo Jones, spent their entire life savings and borrowed some more money in order for this roller coaster to be built. In my mind, this was a shocking, shocking story for me to hear and listen, as well as see it from my own eyes. And really, that story itself got me to thinking of, okay, I need to ride this roller coaster in order to commemorate the choice that they made and really experience that ride for myself. As such, Kentucky Rumbler is a very interesting roller coaster. The roller coaster itself is very fun and enjoyable. I'd say it's a really good GCI roller coaster in that it's just yeah, fun to ride. It's interesting to go through. And yeah, it's, it does some of the major fun things that GCI does really well with airtime, banks, crossovers. It does everything that I like pretty well. It's, it, it does pretty good airtime moments. It's mostly floater rather than ejector, but it's still fun. And let's say that it also, you know, I like the crossover after the first drop, which is pretty nice, and the bank turns and the weaving in and out of the structure as much as possible. And really, by far, it's the best roller coaster at Beach Bend. No questions about it. That being said, Beach Bend's Kentucky Rumbler also is rumbly. Rumbly, tumbly, rumbly, tumbly, and it's a little shaky, to be quite honest. A little rough around the edges. If you are looking for a roller coaster that's very smooth, this roller coaster is not going to suit that much at all. I'd say, I'd say a good retrack on this thing would make it smooth, but since it doesn't have the retrack, it'll be a little rough, a little around the edges. That's all I can really do about that, but... I'd say I'm able to manage those bumps and barriers as much as I've done with any other wooden roller coaster that I've been on. It's been an interesting ride to go through, and in fact I rode it three times, once in the front, once in the middle, and once in the back. And I have to say, if you don't want to experience the most rumbly tumbly parts of this roller coaster, uh, the front row is the best way to go for you in that case. But if you love to at least see what it's like to get yourself jarred, then yeah, the back row is definitely the best part for you. That's for sure. I think other than that, there's nothing too extremely notable about the roller coaster. I'd say the mo most of the ride elements on this coaster are very similar to the other GCI roller coasters I've done with Prowler and American Thunder. But I think that that story itself really sets it apart from the other two. And that really, whenever you hear about a new roller coaster being made, the you don't really hear much about how much money is spent into it, and really, building roller coasters costs millions and millions of dollars to really create. But actually, for the wooden roller coasters, it's like, uh, it's like hundreds of thousands, if not millions. But really, when you're dealing with big parks, they don't they don't have these big big budgets to deal with, and you really don't have to worry too much about how that thing went down. But when it comes to Beach Bend, Beach Bend is a very small amusement park. And having a roller coaster from GCI at that park is a big step for them. It's an extremely huge step, even a little bit risky. But it really just helps bring that park closer and gives them more attention that it really should deserve. Whether it is small, it's still a very fun park to be at, and Kentucky Rumbler is a still a very fun roller coaster experience. If you have any chance to go to Bowling Green, Kentucky, I highly recommend that you go over to Beach Bend, experience it for yourself, and ride Kentucky Rumbler as best as you can. Although, I would say, ride it is probably say a few times, but also riding some of the other ones that they have. It's like a wild mouse, which eh, isn't too much. but. Yeah, nonetheless, yeah, Kentucky Rumbler is the, it's the crown jewel of Beach Bend, hands down. 
And really, there's, I say, there's not much else I can really say about that. So, for the rank of Kentucky Rumbler, I'm gonna give this roller coaster a first class rank. It's a really good roller coaster to ride. It's fun to experience again and again. And I look forward to riding this roller coaster again and again and again whenever I come back to Beach Bend. This this amusement park has a fun story, an interesting story to deal with. And really, the roller coaster itself is really fun to ride. I'll give it that. That'll be it for this episode of A Tall Man's Perspective, but if you're interested in any other Tall Man's Perspectives that I've done for other roller coasters across the United States and the world, be sure to click on the roller coaster icon which will appear at one of my shoulders here sometime here in the near future, or you can also look at one of the two videos placed down below to expand on your journey through the Coaster Scouts YouTube channel. I will be creating new videos for you guys every Monday, and next time I'm going to be talking about something that I do at amusement parks that could help you out here in the near future. I will see you all next time. See ya!